Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to mobile optimize your Thrive Themes pages. In the previous video, we integrated Get Response with Thrive Themes so that we can start collecting emails. And in this video, we want to mobile optimize the pages so that uh, we can start sending traffic, okay? Now, you might have to publish your page before doing some of the things that I'm about to show you. So if you haven't published the page yet, click on landing page here, click on edit. This was our page and you have to publish it first. So in the top right here, you might see a button that says publish. In our case, we've already published it, but some of the things I'm about to show you might require that. Okay. So just a heads up if some of the things I'm showing you won't show up for you. So that being said, let's get straight into it. So here we have our page looks great on desktop. We put in a lot of work in our first video creating this page. However, if we go to tablet view, we see here that there are some issues. This arrow here is hidden, for example. Uh, these bullets are a bit, they look a bit off. Um, this button doesn't look good. This doesn't look too good, right? And then if we go over to mobile, this looks even weirder, some of the things here, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few workarounds. So the first thing I wanna tell you is that you wanna try to, as I mentioned in the first video, try to avoid when you're mobile optimizing, try to avoid uh, switching the margins and padding too much. So for example, if you want to, you know, make this smaller here, right? Like if you want to uh, make this narrower, don't go in and, you know, increase this like that. Don't do that because then what's going to happen if you do that and right, like, look, I made it look narrower. When you head back over to tablet, it looks super, super bad. Okay. So my first piece of advice to you is let's move this back to one. Uh, if you do want to make it narrower, use this width, okay, this fixed width. And as you can see here, the fixed width is 730 and on tablet it is, um, it's still 730, okay. So it, it, it calculates the total width as opposed to increasing the padding or margins, which will affect every single different um, uh, screen size, okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, now, what I do want to tell you is that everything you edit after you publish your page, everything you edit in desktop will stay only in desktop. Everything you edit in, mo in a tablet will stay only in tablet, okay? So for example, if we select this text here, okay, and let's suppose we want to reduce the size of this text so it's on one line, but we don't want to reduce it here. So if we look at the size here on this text, if we head over to main options, it's 18, okay? And on tablet, it's gonna be 18 as well because that's what happened when we first created the page. Now, if we make this 16, it's gonna stay on one line, okay? But if we head back over to desktop, it stays at 18, okay? So everything you change on the left-hand side will only correspond to changes within that specific, um, within that specific kind of screen size, okay? So when we head over to, to uh, mobile, if we wanna make this even smaller, if we wanna make this 14 now, that looks good. It fits all on two lines now. If we head back over to tablet, it's gonna stay at 16 and desktop 18, okay? So a cool little neat trick for you to let you know if you wanna make small changes. The other thing is uh, you can use this responsive option over here. So let's suppose we want this button to show up only on desktop. We can click on responsive. And for here, we have all of these selected. So if we deselect this, right? It's basically like deselecting it. It's only gonna show now on this computer. So desktop and tablet, and it's not gonna show on mobile. So if we go back to mobile, there is no arrow here, okay? So just something to let you know. Uh, that being said, let's work from top to bottom and let's try to make this page as mobile responsive as possible. So the first thing right off the bat we see is maybe this part here. So uh, here there are three lines, here there are four. So one thing we could do is reduce the size of this or we could increase the width a little bit. So if we go to layout and position and you select tablet, we can increase the width here, sorry. Increase it a bit. Okay, so it doesn't go any more than that, uh, but if we do decrease it, it looks like that. So it's a bit more even. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing here instead, because uh, I'm seeing right live as it doesn't look too good, we're probably gonna end up decreasing the font size. So over here, we're gonna drag this and decrease it a little bit. Maybe, maybe try to fit it on three lines. That looks pretty good to me. So this is now 32, right? And if we head back over to desktop, this stays at 36, okay? Let's head over to mobile and let's do the same thing here. We wanna decrease the size here from 32 to maybe 21, 19, maybe something like this. 
Remember, it's a small phone, so it will be much smaller. So the fact that this is 19 as opposed to 32 is totally fine, okay? And then notice how everything else stays the same, okay? And that's what you would do. Just go in and change these small things around. There's not much, right, that we have to change here. Just a few things. So we're going to go into each of these and just change it up. Now on tablet, this arrow looks bad and we can't even, we can't even click on the arrow. So if we try to click on the arrow, it's not going to let us. There's this form. So what we're going to do in tablet mode is drag this over here just so we can select the arrow. And let's, uh, because on desktop, we added this margins and padding. So let's reduce that for desktop or for tablet. So we'll make it maybe 20. And now we can drag that back in there. Okay. That looks about right on tablet. Um, you know, it's not as even, but you have to keep in mind this is tablet, so it will be smaller. And let's save our work here. Now we could also, again, we could increase the size there a bit. So we could reduce this by maybe 200, make it 100. Okay. So we could increase the padding and the margins here as well, and that's going to be separate. Uh, so if we want to kind of center this a little bit more, uh, let's see if we can do that. So if you want to like center it, we, you can just play around with this and it's not going to affect anything here. Okay. So again, keep that in mind. So in this case, let's suppose we want to center it a little bit more, right? We're going to play with the padding here. Yeah. So the reason why I didn't suggest using mad margins and padding is because now you have to go into each one of these and change it up. Okay. So it's just a little extra work. So try to use the width whenever possible but sometimes it, it's, it's not possible. So that's the most you can do. So that looks okay. Now, if you didn't mind the way it looked before, then you can just remove that and keep it at that. Let's imagine that's okay for us, but that's what you would do if you do want to change it up. Um, so that looks much better now on tablet, right? So desktop, we have tablet, we have mobile. Now mobile, it doesn't really look good. What we could do is we could add an image for an arrow that's going to be pointing down. We can do that for mobile and then we could head over into responsive and you know, make that image show up only on mobile and make these images show up only on desktop and tablet. Um, in this case, I don't think it makes too much sense doing that. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to select this arrow and I'm going to say, let's show this arrow only on desktop and tablet. Okay. So we're just going to flat out remove that arrow from mobile. And that just looks much nicer to me. Um, we can drag this up a little bit now. So let's head over into layout. Let's make it zero so we can reduce the space a bit there. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay. So the size maybe of this button we can adjust. So let's head over to main options, edit form elements, and let's go here. Maybe let's re reduce that size a little bit. Not too much. Maybe 21 is okay. We'll click done. Um, that looks okay. Right about. So let's head over here. Now this doesn't look good at all. So we're going to edit the elements here. We're going to select this button. Uh, nope. We're going to select the text and we're going to reduce the size of that. So maybe let's try 19. 19 looks about right. So that fits in. Now there's a bit too much space in between these here. So let's head back over into layout and position. Let's see what happens if we make this five. Okay. So let's make that zero. If we make that zero. Okay. So that looks much better. Okay. So we're just adjusting the space a little bit here and there. For this button as well, we could also adjust the sizing a little bit. We can maybe make this five to reduce the size and then we can make this maybe 10. So we're adjusting the size of the button here only on mobile. Okay. Over here, as you can see, and let's suppose we also want to reduce that little extra space there. So we're going to head over here, select that section, maybe make it 15 or so. And now there's a bit less space over there. So that looks about good. Okay. Now this top section is quite mobile responsive. We're going to check right after. So after we do everything, we're going to go in and check. Let's save our work just to be safe and let's move over to the next section. So we're going to do it one by one. So over here, it looks pretty good on tablet. One thing I would do is maybe, uh, reduce these, uh, these margins here. So I'm going to set that to zero and that looks much better, I think. So we're going to also select this big block and maybe reduce this to 30 so we can reduce that size at the bottom, make it 20, maybe right about and make this 30. Okay. So much less space here on the top and bottom, just to make it look more consistent, I guess. And over here as well, by the way, this doesn't look too good either. Make that 20, make that 10. Okay. So that looks much better. 
Let's head over to desktop. Everything still looks the same. Let's head over to mobile. Um, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there is a little trick you can do. Now, in this case, it might not apply because it's already wrapped. But if you select uh, this entire column here, let's select the column. So this entire thing here, if you head over to main options, you can choose, you can unselect wrap columns. Okay, so if you select that, it's going to unwrap them and it's going to put everything all in one place. Now, for this specific example, this doesn't really help us. Um, and we can also uh, change them up so we can reverse the columns. Okay, uh, in this case, that it's not going to look too good because it's just too small and we have too much text in there. Um, but instead, what we can do, everything looks good here. What we can do is let's add a line and show that line only on mobile. That way we can separate these two. Now you can't drag and drop elements into mobile. So what we're going to do is select desktop or tablet, head over to elements and let's add a divider, the element called divider right here. We're going to take it and we're going to drag it above what you learn. Okay. And we want this divider to separate out the two kind of these two pieces of text on mobile only. So here's what it looks like right now. Okay, so it separates out, that looks good. I think it's a bit too dark. So what we're gonna do is let's head over to desktop. Let's make this grayish, let's apply and maybe let's make this not as thick, so maybe two. Okay, and that looks good. Um, so it did change it on mobile as well because if you change it on desktop, it basically you know applies all the changes everywhere. So um, what we wanna do now is select this head over into responsive and show this up only on mobile. So we're going to deselect desktop and deselect tablet and have it show up only on mobile. And there it is. Okay. So there's that nice little divide that we just added made a bit more nicer looking. So uh, that looks good to me. Let's keep going to the next section. Now this tablet section here, everything looks good except for the button. So maybe we can click on the button here. Let's head over into layout and position. Uh, nope, let's head over into main options and let's increase the button width here a bit. So right now it's on auto, but let's increase it a bit, make it bigger, make all the text fit. And that looks fine to me. Uh, looks fine, it looks centered, so that's okay. Let's head over to mobile. So two things here, one is the button and one is this image. So we're gonna select the image as well. We're gonna increase the image here, make it a bit bigger. Maybe we can increase the margins there a little bit, make it 15 or so, give it a little extra space, maybe not so much, maybe eight. That looks good. Let's change the button as well. So for the button, we can increase. Uh, so that doesn't do anything, so we can just remove that. Let's head over into main options and let's change the button size here. Okay, so we can make it like that at 100, that looks good. What we do have to do is let's change the text here so we can reduce the text a little bit so at 19 that looks good that fits in okay and there you go mobile responsive right there uh, so everything looks good so far so the one more thing we have to do is let's work around with these things now right these uh, little parts and then we'll be done so it doesn't look too good here so what we can do here is if we click on this column here and we unwrap the columns now it looks good right because now it's all wrapped up but we head over to mobile let's see what happens this doesn't look too good okay so what we could do is let's see if we can oops uh, so we probably don't want to wrap it here okay so we're gonna select that and we're not gonna wrap columns so sorry so we will wrap columns we're not gonna wrap columns here um, so we have to go in into each of them individually and select what we want okay now this text also I don't really like um, I want to increase the Sorry, where's the width? Okay, here. So we're gonna go over here and let's increase this width by a little bit here to make everything fit on two lines. Because we because we can, there's enough space for it. Head over here. And there you go. Okay, so we've done that. Let's head back over into mobile. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so everything looks good. Uh, and I think we're pretty much good here. Okay, everything looks good. I'm not seeing anything off. Uh, the text might be a little too small here compared with everything else, but we can just go in and we can just change that. So if we head over to main options, increase it a little bit. So maybe something like this, that's okay. Not too big, maybe like that. That's fine. Um, and that should be pretty much it. So let's save our work and let's test this page, okay? So what was our page URL? I believe it was... Um, the permalink it's this page right here so let's click on that so now we can go in and see what this is going to look like so we're going to go in and minimize it 
and that way we will be able to see how it looks like on mobile right here and then as we go from mobile to tablet to desktop now as you can see here there is a little issue here where the arrow right there the arrow hits kind of the end and that doesn't look too good now you could ignore it or we could go back and do a little fix okay so back in here uh, like I mentioned, you want to try to avoid padding and margins for just this reason. So let's see what other options we have to make this look better. So this is probably somewhere in between desktop and tablet. So I'm not going to change the tablet version. I'll leave that as is. So I'm going to head over to desktop, click on the arrow. And as you can see here, we have padding set to 100. So let's set this to zero. Okay, so we're going to move it all the way to the left again. Over here, we have padding set to 250. So let's set that to zero. Okay, and let's try instead of using padding, now this is gonna look awkward, let's try to instead align this one all the way to the left, right, uh, compared with this whole element, and let's move this arrow all the way to the right. And now that looks pretty good to me, so let's save our work and let's see what that's gonna look like now. So we're gonna, we saved our work, let's refresh this page. So it still looks fine here, it looks pretty much the same. Let's do that. And now as we go from left to right, there are no issues. So this is mobile, so the arrow disappears, but this still stays in that same left to right or left align and button right align or arrow right align place, okay? So that looks better. So again, a perfect example of why you should be careful when you use these margins and padding because it's just so much easier if you're able to just use you know alignments and anything else other than that. But that is it. That is how you mobile optimize a Thrive Themes landing page. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. If I miss something, I'll be um, happy to create a video on that. Uh, but other than that, you should already have created this landing page, integrated with your autoresponder, and now mobile optimized it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably like my Google Ads and my Unbounce playlist, where in Google Ads, I teach you how to send traffic to your landing page so you can start making money, earning commissions. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.